To celebrate the 35th year of Shark Week, fan favourite superhero and dedicated conservationist Jason Momoa is taking viewers on a thrilling journey to meet the ocean's apex predator. Witness close encounters with everything from great white to so-called cocaine sharks. And we've got no shortage of these majestic creatures right here in the waters of New Zealand. The show highlights the incredible work of marine biologists, science educators and shark attack survivors like Paul de Gelder. In 2009, Navy diver Paul was taking part in a routine exercise in Sydney Harbour. That all changed when a 700-pound bull shark attacked, shaking him like a rag doll. Unbelievably, he survived. Now with a prosthetic arm and leg, and maybe even more unbelievable, Paul has since dedicated his life to protect the very creatures that nearly killed him. Oh yeah, we need to hear more of this story. Paul Gelder joins us now. Paul, you're a shark attack survivor. Why on earth are you out here promoting the same creatures that literally tried to kill you? Well, I feel like it's kind of the Australian way, you know. We always <laughs> get back on the horse. But us Kiwis and Aussies, we're a tough breed. We don't take no for an answer. And so, you know, I, I saw it as a, a great chance for my military service. In the Australian Army and Navy, my job was to stand up for people that couldn't stand up for themselves. And then I, I came across this animal that didn't have a voice and couldn't speak up for itself. And so I see that as my role now. Uh, one of them anyway, to use my platform and my voice to speak up for this amazing animal that doesn't have a voice and yet is slaughtered. You have survived what for many people is their greatest fear. Can you talk us through that shark attack experience? Oh, mate, how gory do you want to get? I've had, I do a lot of public speaking and I've had 70 people in my audiences over the years pass out. What I was doing was a, uh, a counter-terrorism exercise and a 10-foot bull shark came up from underneath me, grabbed me by my right hand and my right hamstring in the same bite and decided it wanted them more than I did. And so as much as, you know, you can watch Shark Week and you can watch the Crocodile Hunter, when a 600-pound monster's made of muscle and he's thrashing you around in his environment, I managed to swim back to my safety boat with one hand and one leg through a pool of my own blood where my mates were waiting to uh, provide first aid to keep me alive until the paramedics got there and whisked me off to hospital. You're unreal. I can't, I can't believe you. I've got to know, <laughs> how long did it take for you to get back into the water? Uh, it was three months to the day after my, my stitches and staples came out. That day, I was down at Bondi trying to surf on one leg with two of my mates. Didn't go that well. There wasn't a lot of standing up. There was a lot of swimming in circles. <laughs> <laughs> we are hearing from experts that we're going to see more sharks in New Zealand waters this summer. Do you have any advice? Uh, look, the ocean is a wild place. You know, Aussies and Kiwis, we know that inherently. Uh, our, our countries are surrounded by sharks. At least you guys don't have two of the deadliest jellyfish and the deadliest <laughs> octopus. And <laughs> apparently stingrays can kill you now as well. So count your blessings. But uh, look, be informed. Know if there's been any shark interaction. Be, know if there's been any shark sightings. Uh, and maybe just don't go into that area on that day around that occasion. Uh, um, be shark smart. There are apps out there tracking great whites. We have um, like a really great program uh, called Shark Smart, and there are a lot of apps you can just get on. You can see if any of these sharks are around. Talk to the local fishermen if you're really that concerned. But look, the people in the ocean. We're water people, we're nature people, and we get the risks. And sometimes we feel like it's worth the risk, but as doing that, you know, you're signing that unconditional waiver to accept that anything that does go wrong, you know, you're not going to hold it against the sharks. Paul, thanks for that inspirational story. Thanks for your time tonight. My pleasure, guys. Have a good one. Kia ora, everyone. Welcome to Thursday night of the Project. Look, Chris Park is here. Flash, looking flash, Chris. Actually, you do a lot of public speaking. Have you ever had anyone pass out at one of your shows? No, but what a bloke that guy was. I can't believe it. You should see me if a bit of seaweed touches my foot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, get me out of here. Let yeah. alone what this guy's been through. Yeah. We're, we've actually spent this week um, remembering the last seven years of the project and some of our highlights, and I remember when you swam with sharks. Well, not 
I mean, it wasn't really something with it sharks. It was with sharks <laughs> at Kelly Tarleton's. Oh. Those must be the They're safest. still real sharks. Well, yeah, they were, but still... they're kind of, like, I think I'm more scared of my own cat. <laughs> I don't know what's actually more scary, the sharks and Kelly Tarleton's, or knowing that it's people looking up at you on that travelator oh, as no. you're in the water. That was the worst part, like trying to suck in in the wet. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, listen, Shark Week is about to begin. You can stream it or watch it on the Discovery Channel, and it begins 7.30pm this Sunday, the 3rd of December.